Imagine a football stadium. You can get tickets for seats through the box office or an online ordering portal. There are hundreds and hundreds of seats. However, there are a limited number of general admission seats. Once they all are taken, no one else can enter the stadium unless someone else leaves or is asked to leave. You have a seat in the stadium, but there is no guarantee that you will have the same seat for the next game. Meanwhile, there are season ticket holders. They don't have to go to the box office or order tickets online. Their tickets are ordered in advance, they can attend any game, and they get the same seat every time. A third type of person comes to see the game. This is the press. They're there to take photos and write articles about each game, and they're allowed to roam the stadium. The press should not be in the seating area. They're in the stadium, but without a specific seat. Imagine what happens if one of the press guys goes to sit in a random seat. It may be okay at first, however, a ticket holder shows up in the second quarter. The press guy was there first, but the fan was told he could sit there. The two fight. They shove each other in and out of the seat. Neither person can see the game because of the confusion. Sometimes, the brawl gets so intense, the entire section breaks into a fight alongside the two guys. At this point, no one can watch the game at all. A security guard shows up and looks at both of their tickets. To de-escalate the conflict, the security guard decides that the press is no longer allowed in the seat. He doesn't kick the press out of the stadium because his presence is essential. In this example, you are an internet device. The stadium seating is the DHCP pool. Each seat represents a different IP address. The game is similar to a Wi-Fi network. When an internet device enters the stadium with a general admission ticket, it is assigned a random IP address. Once the device leaves the network, the IP address returns to the pool. Thus, you may have a different IP address every time you enter the network. A DHCP reservation is similar to season tickets. You're issued the same IP address every time you enter the network. When two devices have the same IP on a network, usually both don't work. Sometimes, one device works, but the other doesn't. This conflict can lead to what's called a network broadcast storm. When you have a DHCP scope with conflicting IP addresses, one way to avoid conflicts is by making sure that the static IP is outside of the DHCP scope. An example is if your DHCP range is 192.168.0.10 to 192.168.0.10, that then set the static IP to 192.168.0.210. However, like the press, static IP addresses are still necessary, especially when configuring servers and other network infrastructure. Let's think of another scenario. Your dad intends to give you season tickets for your birthday. He goes to the box office and purchases your first ticket. You go to the game and sit in the seat on your ticket. But when you go to the next game, someone else is there. Your father didn't realize that going to the box office and buying one ticket for every game isn't the same as buying a season ticket. He didn't understand that your seat would be different for each game. This compares to connecting a device to a specific IP address and it works great. Then the next time you go to connect, it doesn't work. It has no way of knowing the new IP address. This is when a DHCP reservation comes to save the day. Just to recap, we talked about DHCP and IP addressing in a network using a football stadium analogy. We explained how DHCP works and how it assigns dynamic IP addresses to devices on a network from a pool of available IP addresses. We highlighted the importance of DHCP reservations for devices that require specific IP addresses every time they connect to the network, such as printers. We emphasized the need to avoid IP address conflicts by ensuring that static IP addresses are outside the DHCP scope. Finally, we related the concept of IP address assignment to a real-life scenario of receiving season tickets for a football game. The same seat is not guaranteed for each game, similar to how a device may be assigned a different IP address each time it connects to a network. In conclusion, static, reserved, and dynamic IP addresses all have their place on the network, and it's essential to know how and when to apply each.